Good morning guys, let me show you why I like going to the dump. Morning boys, how you doing today? Little guy, you look like you're enjoying that fresh hay. Enjoying that shade over there? Our refuse has been piling up, so I thought today would be a good day to do a dump run. As I was loading this stuff up, I was thinking, this is responsibility. A big part of homesteading is just taking more responsibility for yourself. We think of it a lot in terms of producing our own food, but in this case, we're having to take care of our own waste as well. Out here, there's not a garbage man to come every Wednesday and take our trash away. I've got to load it up and haul it out myself. It's not that I enjoy taking on the extra work or anything like that, or using my time in that way, but there is some satisfaction in, in taking on that additional responsibility for ourselves. But that is not what I like about going to the dump per se. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I miss you. I miss you too, buddy. I love you. Have a good day. You too. If this was your view on your drive to the dump, I bet you'd want to go to the dump too. See, wasn't that a nice ride? So on the way back from the dump, I stopped in at the farm store and I got some of the missing pieces I needed to complete the uh, electric fence project. Uh, so I went ahead and picked that up, but basically it's just an insulated uh, black cable. And I also got these uh, threaded posts here. A battery didn't come with the threaded posts to insert there um, for attaching the wiring harness. So I went out and I bought this. I didn't know what size I need, so I got two different sizes. I got a quarter 20 and a 516. So let's see if either of them fit. Well, it's not threading very far, but it looks like it's going to be a good fit anyway. So if you're getting the Power Patrol 12 volt, 35 amp power, uh, quarter 20. Hey guys, what you doing in here? Staying out of the sun. Whoa, your water's looking a little grubby. I'm gonna get that freshened up. The author of a book called City Chicks, Pat Foreman, was featured in Permaculture Chickens, the film by Justin Rhodes. In that film, she talked about keeping your the water fresh for chickens. If you won't drink the water from your chicken's waterer, it's not suitable for the chickens. That's that's what Pat Foreman contends. And I'm going to adopt the same philosophy for the sheep. This water, I wouldn't drink it. We got a hay in there. We got flies. We got fly carcass floating in there. And uh, there's, there's some stuff that I don't even know what it is in there. We're dumping this. There we go, much better. So we've had the sheet for six days now and they are on their second bale of hay. If you're feeding sheep exclusively on hay, you can expect that they're gonna eat approximately five pounds of hay 
per head per day. So these guys are going through about 20 pounds. Um, now, their first couple days here, they were getting a lot of forage off the earth here. Each of my hay bales averages around 60 pounds. I have the small square bales. That puts them right on average. But again, you can expect three to five pounds per day per animal. Uh, so plan on that when you're calculating your hay needs. So guys, I goofed a little bit. My dad just came over and he brought his friend Bob. They were gonna help finish working on the electric fence. They're also gonna help me take down this tree. I mean, look at it, it's, I don't know who would have planted a tree so close to the house and let it go, but it's all up in the soffits and it's definitely gonna cause some serious problems here if we don't get it down. So the problem is, I promised Ashley we'd be going to the mountain festival today. She really wanted to go. Uh, we wanna have a nice family time and meet our friends there. And I forgot, I forgot my dad was coming. Bad news. So you soldered the ends of the wire just to give them more stability? Yeah, it also gives the wire, it won't unravel or, or fray or anything. So my dad told me, just go ahead and go. Go be with the family and he would take care of this. I feel really bad because one, I want to be here and do the projects. And two, I need to film it. Uh, but I gotta take care of my wife first. mountain festival to find this this is awesome my dad cut these two trees down that seriously need to be taken down we are in danger of getting structural damage from them on one hand I'm a little embarrassed because I was just talking this morning about responsibility and, and being up at the mountain festival having fun when this was going on back here makes me feel a little bit irresponsible. It was my responsibility to get this done. On the other hand though, I feel truly blessed. It's such a blessing to have the dad that I have that will come up here and help me with these projects like that. Thank you, dad. So it's been a week we've been here. Yes, a whole week. And we've had a lot going on this last week. What are your thoughts on what we've been going through and accomplished? Well, I, I think we've accomplished quite a bit we got all of our things moved which was huge and the modifications to our home are almost finished we're getting really close and we have lands and no one has cried or had a big argument so i think we've held up pretty well but it's been really stressful it's been very stressful but most moves are but yeah we got right off the bat we had to build the corral for the lambs the next day, the lambs were here. And on top of everything, we're doing the 30 day challenge. We're bringing you guys along every day for our th the first 30 days here on the homestead. So um, that's been a challenge. We haven't had reliable access with the internet, which uh, has been challenging regarding um, getting these videos out. So Ashley often has to travel for business. Um, she hasn't had to travel the last couple of weeks because uh, of the move she's gotten. I took vacation. Yeah. Moving uh, is not vacation, no. by the way. No. Certainly not. No. Uh, so you're going back to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been working for a week, going well, yeah. back on the road tomorrow. You're going back on traveling tomorrow, is yes. what I meant to say. So it's just going to be me and Elliot. Um, we're moving into day nine and on. So what is this next week other than your traveling i mean what what is it going to look like for us what are we trying to do well we're hoping 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 that our contractor finishes renovations a few gutters need to go back up which is kind of a big deal when we have a torrential rainstorm and then we have one shelf that needs to go in and then we're going to start making some furniture because our big nice furniture does not fit yeah we're in a much smaller place now we've downsized a lot we're used to 2,000 square foot homes 
and now we're in just over 800 square feet so that's been a challenge and just with the furniture alone like our dining room table won't fit in our new dining room. Sadly. <laughs> we really love the table. It's really awesome. Lots of really good meals and memories around it. So we're gonna have we're we're gonna have to get creative with furniture and that sort of thing in here for sure. Yes. Pinterest. Yeah. Pinterest. Lots of Pinterest. So that wraps up our first week here on the homestead. We are really grateful for all the support you guys have been giving us. It it really helps us knowing that you're out there watching and rooting for us. So we hope you keep checking in with us. Thanks for watching. Send us feedback. We love reading your comments on Facebook. Tell us what you think, and we hope that we've helped you see that this is something that you can do too if you want to.